The murder of Jill Dando review, this sensitively produced BBC documentary is a fitting and balanced. Try independent minds free for one month. The documentary explains the pessimism of Detective Hamish Campbell, you who doesn't think the mystery will ever be solved, you with the help of interviews with Dando's friends and family, and original police decision logs. You may have seen some of the recent publicity for this BBC One documentary The Murder of Jill Dando, in which the detective in charge of the original investigation into her death, states that he doesn't think the mystery will ever be solved. Dando was a 30. There are many theories still circulating about why this famous woman with no known enemies came to her end. As one who worked with her work on Crime Watch, you pointed to a vengeful criminal. Her personal life, this sensitively produced documentary, directed by Marcus Plowright, eloquently explains the detective's pessimism, with the help of interviews with Dando's friends and family, as well as Campbell's original police decision logs, which document every important judgment he made during his time handling the case. Filmed in naturalistic style, dwelling on the interviewees during their questioning, Campbell is really the central character here, and he spends a good deal of time explaining the complexity and weight of evidence they had to sift through we had over 2,000 people named as potential suspects or responsible. Some actions to that, at least partially, accounted for the fact that George, though later acquitted in any event, took a year to be questioned. By the way, jo Campbell cannot hide his irritation with the criticism that has persisted over the decades. Though this solemnly p but it's not just the media. Dando's cousin J where the documentary works best is when it is focused on the one piece of hard evidence that linked George to the killing of Dando, you a single microscopic particle of gunpowder residue discovered in the inside pocket of George's three-quarter length dark overcoat, recovered from his home. On the one hand, it was an odd thing to be left behind in a coat pocket. It was a type 2 but that was it, and, with the help of a forensics expert, the program shows why the law could not rely on just one particle of residue, as anyone who uses public transport in London, apparently, could pick one up quite randomly. Hence George's event, the conclusion of it all seems to be that, barring some unexpected revelations, Dando's friends and family will not have the closure they so obviously crave. I thought her brother, a tremendously sad, strange story then, and just as unfathomable today. Dando's friends, the best in film, music, TV radio straight to your inbox. The best in film, music, TV radio straight to your inbox. Register with your social account or to log in. You can find our community guidelines in full. Create a commenting name to join the debate. You can find our community guidelines in full. Create a commenting name to join the debate. Your account has been blocked for contravening the... Enter your email to follow new comments on this article. Are you sure you want to submit this vote? Are you sure you want to mark this comment as inappropriate? Are you sure you want to mark this comment as inappropriate? Are you sure you want to delete this comment? Create a commenting name to join the debate. Create a commenting name to join the debate. Want to bookmark your favorite articles and stories to read or reference later? Try independent. Find your bookmarks in your section under my profile.